Welcome back, everybody. This is episode 139 of the Rose Topic Series. I am Toasty FM, and um, now we've had some games, uh, about three games since our last episode. Uh, three reasonably important games. The first one was against Hiwab, and this one was it's it was a win, and it was a quality win, and that was the good thing about it. The problem was that it, it, it we had to go to extra time to get the victory. We had to go the full 120 minutes. And that was a problem. Because a lot of... Well, I mean, we played pretty much a full... We actually did play a full squad. Uh, our number one guys... I mean, I thought... I mean, yeah, we'll play in three days, but... Um, you know, if we pull, pull, we'll get done in the 90, and we'll just, it'll be fine. Um, and it is a task the goal game. I want to move on to the next round. So it was important. But... Went the full 120. Marquez got the winner in the 93rd minute, but we still had to go a lot longer into the game. And it really took a lot out of us. It did. Um, to get through that. Now, uh, then we came up against uh, Porto. And uh, a nil-nil uh, draw away from home, which is, which is good, I mean, considering. Um, we didn't do much. We just sat back, basically parked the bus. And you could tell... By our, our 11 that we weren't really... We didn't come in there trying to win. Uh, it was... Uh, Ott came in. Uh, Paul Stiffs came in. Beefy. Enrique. Flip Swatch. Brun Silva. Becker. I mean, the only real starters were Giovanni and Adriel. Um, and, and and Manuel and uh, Ramil Vitor. I mean, I mean, some these players aren't, you know bad to play them, but it, it is not, it's not our best 11, um, but we still got the draw, which is probably what we, what we I mean, we might, might have had a better chance to win, but that's what we ended up with, and it's fine, um, the problem was Giovanni, um, that was the big loss, we didn't lose the game, but we lost Giovanni, who's been spectacular, uh, lately, um, has been very good for us, and he has picked up an injury, that will put him out for the season, um, probably three to four months. So now it's two to three months, uh, but it's probably closer to three. Um, he's likely to miss the rest uh, of of the season, at least of the Europa League. I mean, there's still a chance. It depends on how we far we go. Um, there's still a lot of options there, but it is a big loss. Um, he's been very good for us, and that's unfortunate. Because he's been a quality player for us uh, this year. Um, I mean, the Europa, in Europa League, he's been spectacular. In the in the in the in the league, he's been okay. But in the Europa League in Europe, um, in the in the Taça of Portugal, he's been spectacular. And um, overall, he's been pretty good. Um, and then we came up against Shavs, and this was just a crazy game. I mean, they went up early, then we went crazy. Um, and it was quickly, um, like, 4-1, and then 5-2. They scored two at the end, but at that point, it didn't really matter. Um, everything was fine and dandy at that point. It was spectacular. I mean, our front uh, our front three played spectacularly. Now, I mean, our front four, basically. Well, we have a new player right here that I'm about to talk about. Now, before we talk about the team, look, I mean, it was a challenge to get players in the last week. Um, wages weren't lining up. I mean, it was hard. It was hard to get uh, players in. Now, we've only made one signing. That's Marcel Figue. And with the loss of Giovanni, I wanted to improve. I wanted to give him a young backup there. Um, and I wasn't able to do that. But I was able to bring in Marcel Figue, which is he's a quality player. Um, played well in his in his debut in the league for us, an 8.4 rating. I mean, everybody played well. Uh, if he had a bad rating in that game, I would have been worried. Um, but he played well. Uh, he is on loan from Sporting. Um, his contract is up at the end of the year, so maybe we could sign him on a free. I'm not sure, but we needed a player to bring in, and he's the guy that we brought in. I want to bring someone on a free, but just it, the finances were working out. They were too much. I didn't want to spend more than about a million euros on a player. Um, and, and I didn't want to spend um, too much as far as wages since concerned. So Marcel Figo is the player they brought in. Out. Um, 
you know, in that, like I said, it was going to go out, and he went out. Uh, he's now in Turkey, I believe, in his home country. So, I uh, wish him the best. Hopefully, he goes and, and does great things um, and has a nice career um, for himself. Uh, and Nangani, the um, Ogoni, uh, the striker, he's out. Um, based on the firepower he brought in recently, he, he's it's very unlikely that he'll ever play for us. Um, so he'll go on, lo on loan out now and then probably leave permanently. And we had two players leave the uh, Panathinaikos. Uh, two Portuguese players. That's Pedro Enrique, uh, the center midfielder. Uh, quality player for us. Been a good player for us, but... Uh, it was a good amount of money for a player that, uh, because the talent we currently have with us, um, was never going to be much more than a squad player. Um, so I was willing to let him go for, for a good amount of money, 300000 And then Paul Stivsch, um, it was, um, I was fine with letting him go. We have other players as well, uh, at center back that... Uh, can't play and stuff like that. So, Polishtev just seemed excess to uh, excess of need. So we didn't. We just sent him out. Um, now, one player that I'm pretty excited about that's not with us, but um, but will be joining us. His name is Joel Diaby. Um, currently playing in Belgium, and he seems like a very good player. Um, center back we're setting him on a free and he's worth about 1.5 million um uh, his wages are kind of high but he's capped for the ivory coast um seven times he's 22 years of age young um he doesn't have the greatest rating uh in the league but uh, his team's not the best um so eighth place he's average but um, I think he'll be do better. The way we play um, our game, um, the way we play defensively, I think he'll be a quality player for us. And I'm looking forward to bringing him in um, uh, next year. Ho hopefully he can become a pretty nice partnership um, with whoever we have. But we'll see about that. Now let's look. Um, now, we, today we have a game against Past Freire. Um, as far as league-wise, we're doing really good. Um, the result against Porto um, was, was good for us. Um, we have uh, the game against Chaz was important, three points. Um, uh, win today would put us four points ahead of Sporting. Um, we're clearly, I mean, it's gonna, we're finished top four. Um, at this point, there's no way in my mind that Hiwav or Braga, um, would, we're going to catch us. So it's either going to be, um, uh, we possibly move up. One today would put us between, uh, within three points of Benfica. Um, so we're probably going to finish top four. And I think that's where we've become. I think we've, we've leapfrog Braga as far as, um, in this league. Um, I mean, eventually I want to actually win a trophy. That'd be kind of nice, but. Um, but so far, it's, I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far. So let's look at the line for today's game and see what that's going to look like. All right, guys, so this is the line today. Uh, Manuel is in goal as he has been, and he's been okay. Um, what we would expect from a, a, a player coming in, um, as a backup to come in. Um, and he's been okay, not spectacular, but, uh, consistent, which is what we need. Uh, Azavid, Semperni, Hamil Victor, Ciccarelli uh, along the back. Mubanga, Warrington uh, in the center of midfield. Cleverson, Villegas, uh, Figo on the left, and Adriel up top. Adriel's been solid. He, he's definitely picked up uh, lately. Um, so he's been a good signing. Um, you know, we have a few lone players in there. Um uh, as as a Fig, Adriel, um, hopefully, uh, two of those players are, are guys that I'd like to bring in long term, Figo, uh, and as So, I mean, they are loan players, that, but the contract do ex uh, uh, expire at the end of the year. So they're they're players that I, I I would like to bring in for sure. But so keep keep a look out for that. 
Um, maybe near the end of the season, we'll still be I'll be start making offers to them. Um, I cannot sign Feig on a free, I don't believe, because he is far too young. Uh, he's only 18. I'm pretty sure I, was, I could have thought of Uh That's something that I'm going to look at for sure. Um, but today we have a game against Pash. And um, they're an okay team. Uh, they're currently in 8th place. A win, for, uh, eighth place. Um, a win today uh, will put them into tied for 5th. But we get the early goal. A mistake from their player. I believe it was Alessia uh, who passes it back. Uh, to the goalkeeper, but Cleverson's there to pick his pocket and score the goal. Warrington here. Um, oh, yeah, Alessia, that's just... N Nicola, their goalkeeper, then Nicola, was just like, hey, just come here, let the ball come to me. And um, Cleverson did not allow that. And he did a good job poaching it and getting the goal. Um, an important goal. Um, early on the game... Uh, to put us in that position. They really haven't done much. Um, we haven't held much of the ball. So I think um, going to counterattacking would be a good idea right now. Um, I think that'll be the best way to kind of capitalize on this. Looks like Viegas has picked up a knock. We'll probably change that right after this highlight's done. Checarelli here. Figo. Wearing 77. I don't know if he's related to Luis Figo. Uh, not in real life, but I'm wondering if he would. we can make that argument. But other than he else scores a second for us. Uh, ball over the top from, was it Mubanga or was it Semprini? I thought it was, maybe it was Semprini that put that ball in. Um, the center back. Oh, it was. That's a quality ball in, looking like David Luiz to Diego Costa. And that's a quality, quality finish right in front of goal. The lone player. Um, I believe we got from Sao Paulo, some Brazilian club. I forgot. I think it's Sao Paulo. Um, yeah, but Viegas picked up Knox. will be coming off for Becker. Um, Becker's been a quality player, and, I, and I've been and I'm happy with Becker just because uh, I'm sure he came in expecting to start full time, and he has played plenty of games. He's he's basically the twelfth man. He's the first guy off the bench. Um. I, I try to rotate him in as much as I can, but Cleverson and, and Vegas have been so good. And he hasn't come to be complaining about playing time or anything. Um, so I'm pretty happy with I'm pretty happy with um, what he's added to this team as quali quality-wise um, and, and not complaining about playing time, just making the most out of the time he does get. Um, that's really been an important thing. Now... Let's not, I'm not. I'd like to avoid allowing a goal in for halftime. Going up into two nil into halftime uh, is what I want to do, and that's exactly what we're gonna. That's what exactly what we did. Um, don't get complacent, guys. Last thing we want to do. Um, it is. It's still early. It's still plenty of time. Uh, I, I'm. I, I feel confident that we'll get out of here with at least a point, but. Um, I just don't see them scoring three goals on us in the second half. But, um, yeah, but we're going to have to work hard uh, on the rest of this game. Um, so far, I mean, statistically, nothing has really happened. Um, we've still been the better team um, throughout. Their two shots have been long shots. Um, they haven't really done anything with them. Um but we have to continue to play uh, about an hour through and um, still nothing have has happened. Uh, it's been pretty boring other than our two goals, which have been good. I mean, one was kind of a, the, 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 the second one was a better goal than the first one. I'd like this. I I'd say, um, and the second one was a great defense by them. Uh, it has to be said. I mean, they kind of, the two defenders clashed and, and, and um, our player was able to capitalize um, Flip Swatch is going to come in here. Bruno Silva is not on the bench today, um, which I just noticed. So, um, Flip Swatch, another guy that hasn't complained um, this year. Another guy there I, I thought might be Cleverson's number two, but we brought Cleverson in and Viegas. So, 
Um, but he hasn't complained. He's been a quality player as well. I, I've made sure to, to make his gives him some time as uh, also, and um, and he's been good. He's been good playing as a number ten, um, as a deep line playmaker. Um, so I've been happy with his uh, addition to the team. Figo here, uh, spot back to Checarelli. Can he whip in a ball? Maybe Mubanga here. I thought he might have taken a shot. Um, but we're taking our time here, which is nice to see. We're not, um, you know, we're not getting carried away. Mubanga here, Cleverson, Becker, Becker gets the goal. Um, I was singing his praises earlier, and he did a good job there. It looks like, Adriel, we scored there with 10 men on the field. I thought, uh, I was like, where's our striker? Maybe, I was like, but he's on the side of the pitch, and we still score. Um, an excellent, well done, Cleverson. Uh, such a good player, and was able to find uh, Becker. And Becker, Becker made the right run. Uh, I'm gonna give some player, uh, player, some time here. Now, with us losing Ozin and uh, Giovanni being out injured, it's likely that Vega will be playing more on the left now um, than at the striker position. Um, he'll likely be rotating out of that spot or playing both, but. He'll likely be our number one option uh, as backup. Um, five minutes left here in the game, 3 0. I mean, there's nothing really much they can do. They might get a consolation goal. I'm not really sure. Um, good tackle by Flip Swatch there. Um, worried he might have given a thought he was a penalty away, but he did not. Cleverson here, Feek. Uh, did not get the ball in. Their their players did a good job preventing the cross, or at least not preventing the cross that he likely wanted. Uh, and Cleverson scores another one. It was deflected. Unfortunate uh, for the goalkeeper there. Um, but that's four four goals, four nil. Let's look at the highlight here. Um, it was on target, but went off there. Maybe, no, it had to be a deflection. It had to be a deflection from that. Uh, but that puts us up 4-0, and I think that goal puts Cleverson as our um, top goal scorer this year. Uh, another excellent victory. I mean, uh, I'm happy you guys can can watch us play like this because we've been playing some beautiful football, and I want you guys to see it. Um, this is the type of play that put us gave us a 6-4 win over Shavs. Um, you know, just being smart, smart play. Um Solid defensively. I think we have quite a few shutouts in the league um, this year. So, very well done. Very well done. A 4-0 victory against Pasha Ferreira, who's, you know, eighth in his table. But it just shows the quality we have now and that we're, we're really moving up into, clearly, the four best teams in Portugal. Um, so, let's look at the upcoming schedule. As you can see right now, there's a big, big game coming up. All right, guys. So, this is the upcoming schedule. And part of me feels like I did a bad job planning this out because I feel like I could have done played Sporting today, then Chihuahua, Krasnodar, Benfica, then come back in Krasnodar uh, again. So um, I probably missed out on that. What episode? Tomorrow's 140. Huh. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll do a, like a special episode. Maybe we'll do a double episode. Uh, maybe, hey, why not? Why not? Let's do that. Because Bayfica and Krasnodar, it's only four days apart. Um, the two big games. Um, I think it'll be kind of interesting. I think it'll be kind of fun. I mean, we have, it'll be tough, but I think, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that, actually. That'll be, that'll be a fun little thing to do. I think we'll have uh, some fun with that. It'll be 140. Is it a milestone? I guess. I mean, 150 is probably a little more important than, than 140. But, hey, that's fine. We'll do it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Come back tomorrow for a big day with a double upload. And take care of yourselves.